Hey guys, be sure to like and subscribe. Today we're going to be talking about what to expect on the other side of this mess. You know, and there's, there is a big mess, let's face it. But I, I read the Wall Street Journal the other day, and the Wall Street Journal was saying that there was a lot of expats getting stranded all throughout the world because of um, the new variant, okay, and, and lockdowns and, and, and not being able to fly or, or changes in, 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 in the way they fly or whatever, or they have to fly to another country because they can't touch this country. It's a logistical mess. I mean, you have to be a, a circus performer to jump through all the hoops to travel nowadays. And you know something? I don't see people traveling that much more as much as we have now in the future unless we come out of this current mess. And I don't think we're going to come out of this mess very easily. You know, I got a hornet here and he's like <laughs> flying around me, driving me crazy. Anyway, and also this is like the seventh time I've tried doing this video. So just to let you know, between dogs barking, people interrupting me, somebody came through here was actually asking me for money. So that's what I've been putting up with today. So this is like the seventh time I've tried doing this video. But to get back to the video, anyway, this is what's going on. With everything going on here, with our current mess over here, going into these deeper quarantines, like we're in this modified ECQ. And fortunately, we didn't go into the full ECQ, which would have really kind of shut us down a lot more and would have really hurt the stores. The stores are already hurting just by going into the modified ECQ because they can't have people sitting there unless they're al fresco, sitting outside and stuff like that. A lot of people are getting tired of this. They're really getting tired all, through, all throughout the world, wherever they are. Some countries are coming out of it. I think we're just kind of like in the middle of it, you know, like right now, I, I don't know if we're in the middle of the beginning because we're just starting off, like I think we're up to like 13% or maybe 14% now or something like that. I'm, I'm not sure quite where we are right now. But I mean, we still have a long ways to go before we reach the end of this. And even at the end of this, even if we reach 70%, then they're going to say, well, we have to worry about the other 30%. We still have to wear our masks. We still have to wear our shields and all that stuff probably. Who knows? Who knows what's sitting at the end of this waiting for us? Because I don't think we're going back to normal. Normal's no longer normal. You know, this is our normal. We have to get used to it. You know, I, I don't think people are ever going to gonna fight back against this or anything. I really don't. I don't see it happen. I mean, no, in some places they are. Some places they're fighting back and stuff like that and saying we're not going to put up with this anymore. I, I'm not sure if the world is going to let us travel, though, the way we travel the way we traveled before, okay? I think we're gonna have vaccine, vac vaccination passes. I think we're gonna, we're gonna have passes like in countries like the Philippines, that they've already talked a little bit about that, you know? And I think to travel to other islands, you're gonna need your pass and they're gonna be checking it. They're gonna be having these checkpoints and stuff like that. I think it's gonna be a mess, you know? And I, I think it, maybe at some point, some of the governors are saying they're not gonna let it happen, but other governors might let this happen is where you can't get into a mall or a restaurant unless you've been vaccinated. And unless you've got their, their special card once you get vaccinated to verify that your vaccination is real. It's like you have to get a card to get a, you know, once you get, once you get your vaccination card, they want, you, they want that verified then. When they gave you the vaccination card, they want to get it verified to make sure it's real because there's fake ones going around and then it just keeps, it just, it's a never ending process here and throughout the world. And I'm, I'm not just talking about the Philippines here. This isn't a thing about the Philippines. It really isn't. You know, this is the thing about worldwide issues. This isn't almost every country is having some sort of issue with this stuff. It's a mess. But on the other side, I don't see there being another side anymore. You know, I, I, I just kind of don't. I don't see this stopping because of the variants and stuff like that. Some people are saying, well, yeah, Steve, we'll get through this. You know, we, 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 we said, you know, all we, all's we needed was two weeks to, to shut this thing down before. Do you remember that at the beginning? Just give us two weeks or a month of a, of a lockdown, then this 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 will all go away. You don't have to worry about it. It's gonna go away. It didn't go away. It got worse. It got worse. We're still in this, and 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 really bad for that matter. I mean, the United States, we got problems come, you know, going around now too. Even though like more than fifty percent of the people are vaccinated in most cases, you know. I mean, it's a, it's still a mess. You know, it's still a mess. You know. Um, Everybody's looking at the expat like they're a carrier, you know, and it's a good possibility they could be, you know. I, I don't know. I don't know what to believe anymore because there's so much fake news out there about all this stuff. And I get people sending me all this fake, fake news stuff. And, I, I, you know, guys, don't send it to me, please. I don't want to hear about it. I, I, I've read it all. I, I'm an avid 
reader of all this stuff and news and stuff like that and I'm kind of getting burned out on it actually you know about about this kind of news I think all of us are you know I think we've had it with I think we've had it with this you know to a certain point you know and I'm not saying I'm pro or against vaccinations I'm not saying whether I'm pro or against wearing masks and shields or anything like that I'm just saying I'm tired you know I think we all are tired and at the other side of this what do we got what do we got to go back to for people that left Asia before this and want to come back here right like people up in Thailand the expats up in Thailand that left and want to go back after there's nothing to go back to there anymore I've seen the pictures I've seen the videos of the streets up there it's not the same will it open back up again in some capacity but it will never be what what it was before it'll never be what it was before in fact in fact I think the Philippines is going to be kind of it's going to be a shell of itself after this. I'm watching stores close down. I'm watching western pl- restaurants close down. I'm watching malls turn into ghost towns little by little. You know it's slowly happening. It's it's like a slow train wreck. A very slow train wreck all throughout the world. You know, and the mess with the airlines is is terrible. I I I've been watching people try to get in here on their SRV things. They got the 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 they, they, they got the um, their EED, then they get the 9 AVs, and they're trying to do all these logistical things, and they're trying to get their tickets to come in here. And I don't think that it, because some of these states, the place, well, well, not states, countries are blacklisted, they can't come in here unless they go to a, fly to another country and stay there for two weeks in order to come into the Philippines. You follow what I'm saying here? This is this is the new future okay i don't think this is just going to go away just because of vaccine because i think the variants are going to still be flying around there and as soon as we try to fight one with one vaccination the variant comes out and then we have to fight that one and it's just a never-ending battle it's not like covid wasn't here before guys covid was here before we just never talked about it that much and and doctors have stated that people have had covid before it wasn't a big that big of a deal you know what I mean? I'm not saying this isn't a big deal. People, people have died and stuff like that. But, but the fact is, there's a lot of false information coming out of this. Even the CDC has stated a few things about that a lot of the people that supposedly were listed as COVID deaths weren't. You know? So my take on this is the variants are going to take over. And we're going to be worried about those. And we have to do all kinds of stuff with that. We have to worry about those. We got to get booster shots for that, and that's that's going to be the problem. That's going to be the issue. So with the, with that said, you know we need we need to think before we travel from here on in. We have to start worrying about all this stuff, you know, because this is our future. This is the future of the, of the world. You know, things aren't going back to you know easy traveling like they were before. Yeah, some of our things are going to come back. Our tourist visas will probably come back in the Philippines, things like that. But you're probably going to have to have some sort of card to get in here, prove that you were vaccinated, prove that you got booster shots, what have you. You know, it's not going to be the same. You know, things aren't the same in Kansas anymore. You know, those days are gone. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty much, those days are dead. It's not going back. Don't expect that because you're going to be let down. You know, I don't see it happening. You know, a lot of people are coming over here. They're, they're expecting the Philippines to be the same as when they left it. It's not going to be the same. Not going to be the same. There's going to be a lot more poor people over here. A lot more poor people. There's going to be a lot of malls left with less stores in there. A lot of restaurants closed down. A lot of the expat places right now that used to be expat hangouts now are ghost towns. Just like I mentioned about the Conrad building. I've mentioned about this building a few times. Place is a ghost town. Hard Rock Cafe. Nobody even goes there. The the um, Red Lobster, barely even open. You know they're doing they're, they're doing um, takeout and deliveries. Um, Texas Roadhouse, same thing. You know, same thing. You know, with with the modified ECQ, they can't have people sitting in there eating. So until that ends, they're pretty much out of business or running at ten percent ten ten percent of what they were doing before. Tell me that ain't going to put you out of business. That's going to put you out of business. So when we open up over here, you know, where are you where where's where's going to where's your happy place going to be? You know, 
I'm not so sure that the Philippines is going to be a paradise after this anymore. Will it be a beautiful place to go and a beautiful place to stay? Hell yeah, it will. It's a beautiful place anyway. It's not going to change the landscape here, but it sure as hell is going to change the, the economy and the, the economic landscape over here for sure. You know, but, but we are going to have some repercussions because of this on the other side. Let's face that now and, and, and you know, accept the reality that the future is no longer going to go back to the past. Anyway, guys, I hope we all realize that now. You know, I think most of us, are, it's starting to sink in a little bit and it's starting to sink in hard that, that it's not going to be the same anymore. Anyway, guys, God bless. Take care.